Hello everyone, in this video we're going to talk about lines and segments that intersect circles. So we're going to talk about eight different vocabulary words here. We're going to run through um, this diagram on the left side of our screen and also all of these definitions on our screen and then we're going to look at one example where we identify all of these different lines or segments that intersect a circle. So we're going to start off with what is a circle? Well a circle is just a set of all points in a plane that are equidistant from a given point, and that given point is called the center of the circle. Okay, so we see our center of our circle right there. Now we're gonna talk about the radius. Radius is a segment with endpoints at the center and on the circle. So at the center and on the circle. So here's our radius, the pink segment there. Then we're gonna talk about a chord. A chord is a segment whose endpoints are on the circle. So both endpoints here are on the circle. So here's our chord right there, and we can see that both of its endpoints lie on the circle. Uh, next is the diameter. A diameter is a chord because both of its endpoints are on the circle. However, the diameter is a specific chord because it contains the center of the circle. So here's our diameter right here. So we can see that the endpoints of the diameter are on the circle, but it does pass through our center there, okay? Next is the secant. A secant is a line that intersects a circle in two points. So here's our secant down here at the bottom of our circle. And we can see the two points where our secant intersects our circle. Then we're gonna look at a tangent. So a tangent is a line in the plane of a circle that intersects the circle in exactly one point. So we see our tangent line up here, and the point at which the tangent intersects the circle, we call the point of tangency, okay? So about eight different vocabulary words there, um, lines, points, segments that are associated with intersecting a circle. So let's see if we can identify them now in this example. All right, so the first one we're gonna look at is just point A. So what do we call the point in the very middle of the circle? We call that the center, okay? Next is point F, which we have right here. And we're gonna call that our point of tangency. All right, now we're moving on to a line. So line DE, which would be this line right here. Line DE, notice that it intersects our circle in two points, so that would be considered a secant. Next is segment DF. So segment DF would be right here. It is a segment whose endpoints are on the circle, but it does pass through the center, so this would be our diameter. All right, and now we have line BC, which is here at the top. Line BC intersects our circle in exactly one point, so that would be our tangent line. Okay, next is segment AE, which would be right here. Segment AE has one of its endpoints on the circle, and the other endpoint is the center of the circle, so this would be our radius. Okay, number seven says, what's the name of the circle? So we would just call this circle A. So what we can do is draw ourselves a circle. We put our midpoint or our center in the middle there and we just write an A next to it. So this is just circle A. And lastly, segment DG, which would be this segment right here. Notice that both of its endpoints lie on the circle and it does not go through the center. So this would just be considered a chord of the circle. Okay, and so those are some lines and segments that intersect circles.